Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. I have an update on Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland. We finally know what's going on with her and why she behaves the way she does. Ladies and gentlemen, Christia Freeland is an NPC. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Fringe. I've questioned Christia Freeland for quite some time. I have questioned what goes on behind the currents of air that seem to flow between one ear canal and out the other when it comes to her thought process. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, no matter what you think of Christia Freeland, whether it's uh, some form of uh, inhibited behavior due to being under the influence of narcotics, whether it's that uh, she plain old just flat out lies that she's just a typical politician who likes to steal money, whether you look at her family heritage and realize that she's actually aligned with folks like uh, the Waffen SS soldier that was brought into the House of Commons. Well, I'm here today to let you know, folks, I finally cracked the case on what is going on with Christia Freeland. And I'm happy to report that uh, there's nothing to worry about, um, at least because it appears Christian Freeland is, in fact, what's called and referred to as an NPC. Now, if you don't know what an NPC is, again, I know I've got viewers from all places of, uh, of the country on here of, of all different age groups. So let me allow or allow me to explain. An NPC is considered to be what is called a non-playable character in things like video games. Now, often NPCs are touted for having weird behavior, and the, the joke of an NPC essentially comes around because um, even in a situation where things aren't seeming right, NPCs will always follow along their scripted dialogue. They will always continue to do what they were programmed to do. They don't act outside of their boundaries in accordance with how things are working in a video game. Well, I do have an example, and I do want to just show you guys signs you might be an NPC. Again, um, if you think about a video game, and if you think about video games in, in relativity to this video, it'll explain a little bit more of what exactly an NPC is. Uh, but here we go. Let's take a look. Greetings, traveler. Get away from me, thief. Greetings, traveler. Who's there? Probably just the wind. <laughs> a really funny explanation. Of course, you see on Joe Rogan and stuff uh, over to the side, there are explanations further. I think you guys get the gist of it. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about here is a tweet coming out from the Canadian Independent saying, well, let's let's actually maximize. I want to make sure we get the full explanation of what we're looking at here with Christian Freeland. Watch Canadian Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Christian Freeland, in the Finance Committee today, refuses to answer how much uh, the government has collected in carbon tax when called out on $2 billion that has not been accounted for. She claims it is going to small businesses shortly. Now, keep in mind, for a woman who's uh, the Finance Minister of Canada, um, this is the same woman who claims $6,000 in expenditures every month for spas, haircuts, which if you look at her hair, I mean, yikes. Uh, <laughs> and, and a personal trainer and gym membership. Um, her idea of spending, like, it's no surprise to anybody. We know how crazy it is with her. Um, but just, this is where I say she's an NPC. Listen to her answers. It, it's something straight out of question period. Um, but it's just so rage inducing to see somebody just sit there thinking that, they can just continue to talk on their same old talking points that they don't have to answer a question that they're not obligated 
under the jurisdiction that they're here as a public servant to answer such questions. Don't forget, this is taxpayer money. This is my money, your money, everybody who's watching this video's money, if you're in Canada, um, that they're spending around and they act like it's no big deal, like it's nothing. Let's take a listen. Mr. Chair, uh, Minister, how much has the government collected in carbon taxes since you implemented it? I didn't hear the last question. The How last much has part the government the collected in carbon taxes since it, since it was implemented? Um, so thanks for the question, and it gives me an opportunity to be really clear about the price on pollution. This is revenue neutral. All Sorry, Minister, money it was, that a is pretty, collected, it was a pretty specific all question. All money that is just collected the number. How goes much have, back directly to Canadians. I only have limited that time, is Minister. The key point. How much? How much has your government collected in carbon taxes? Also, an opportunity for me to point out that Manitoba families will be getting one thousand two hundred dollars this year. Again, Minister, if I could just have the number, how much have you collected in carbon taxes? The key point which Conservatives consistently are trying to keep from Canadians is that the price on pollution is completely Again, revenue neutral. Minister, the money does question. not go Canadians in the, the money to. What is, does not go into what? general sorry, revenues. It time. is I'm returned sorry, to Canadians. What is the dollar value of all carbon taxes collected since the tax was implemented? The key point is that is money in the pockets of Canadians for Manitoba families this year. It's going to be $1,200. That is making a real difference. Just the number, Minister. How much has the government actually collected in carbon taxes? As I said, the key point is it's all money that goes back to Canadians. It goes back to your constituents, okay. my constituents, with, Daniel's yeah. constituents. With the, with the greatest of respect, it's Mr. not Halland's revenue neutral. In fact, the it estimates, is revenue neutral. No, the Minister, the estimates say that you refuse to answer with giving accurate information, Minister. The government's own financial documents, your main estimates, show that you've collected $20.7 billion in carbon taxes and, and has only paid out $18.6 billion since the carbon tax took effect. Oh, your government has collected over $2 billion out of the pockets of Canadians since the tax was implemented that you have not paid back. That's from your own main estimate. So will that, you correct the record that, and Mr. admit Moran's, the truth? No, it is 100% revenue neutral. And I'm are you glad saying the main I'm, estimates are wrong? I am saying that that is money that is being held for small businesses, and small businesses will have good news soon because that money is going to be returned to them. Going to have, they're going to have good news soon because that money is going to be returned to them. Well, I'm a small business. <laughs> I could use some of that money. Um, this is where I'm saying she's like an NPC. Um, they asked her how much money, how much? And she just sits there talking about money that's going back to constituents, money that's going to different provinces, how it's carbon neutral, how it's, <laughs> or how it's finan neutral financial or whatever she says. It, it, it's not financially neutral. Um, we've seen many times as the conservatives have laid out for Christia Freeland, in fact, Pierre Polyev taking her to school on economics, considering the fact that he was a finance minister and now she's the finance minister of Canada. Well, he had to explain to her basic math. In fact, that the average Canadian family supposedly getting these $1,800 checks versus the $2,800 roughly that the government takes every year for carbon taxes and is about to raise 23%. Um, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She is complete NPC. She's stuck in her one and only script because, of course, if she says the truth, if she says any kind of uh, relevant data to any of these committees, well, that's going to throw her entire party under the bus. It would put people in shackles. It would probably have a vast majority of the Liberal Party of Canada under arrest for fraud and theft. Um, this is where, as funny as it is to make some of these videos talking about her being an NPC, it's frustrating as a Canadian to sit back and have to listen to this and to understand that these committees are also wasting taxpayer dollars because much like we've heard from MPs in the past, these committees go through, we have found evidence of fraud, we have found evidence of uh, conflicts of interest, we have found evidence of smuggling money and laundering money between parties that essentially do no work for the money that they're getting. Now, when Christian Freeland talks about money coming back to small businesses, well, they're holding it. Of course they're holding it because they have an election next year. This is what's called bribe money. 
that's why it's being held. They're going to come out and look like the heroes of the hour. Oh, look at all this money we're giving back to you. What people always fail to realize, anytime the government is giving money back to you, it means they took too much. And they're about to take too much on top of what they're taking April 1st, as Justin Trudeau's April Fool's joke comes into play in this country. Um, this should make everybody livid that these committees go on and no charges come forward, that nobody is put in jail, not even companies like GC Strategies, when they're caught taking millions of dollars in taxpayer money for doing nothing, absolutely nothing. That's fraud. That should constitute jail time. My question to any MP at this point, whether you're conservative, NDP, liberal, is what safeguards are in place to ensure that this kind of behavior doesn't continue with a newer form of government? And maybe they're just a little more careful about how they skim our money off the top. This is becoming rage-inducing. When I look at the average family needing a food bank, hearing about people struggling to pay utility bills, people who can't pay their mortgages, people being evicted and living in tents because they can't afford the average cost of rent in a city, while this woman gives her NPC rhetoric and smiles after talking like she's some kind of big shot angers the hell out of me it should make you guys angry as well but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments um do you think christian freeland's an npc or do you think she just thinks we're all fools let me know down below if it's your first time here i hope this video has earned your subscription uh while you're at it if you're already subscribed to the channel double check that you're still subscribed as youtube despises us under Justin Trudeau's censorship laws talking about these kind of things. They like to push these kind of videos down. So if you've enjoyed the content, I urge you to leave a thumbs up and a comment in the algorithm. Uh, let people know that it's worth watching, that it's worth checking out. Your comments, your likes, all of that adds up into doing that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you on the next one.